Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today, and Nathaniel. That's right. What do we got here today, Nathaniel? Um, Diet Coke and Mentos dispenser. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna show y'all how this thing works, folks. This thing's gonna be pretty cool, so stay tuned. Okay, friends. First of all, Nathaniel's going to take the lid off of a two-liter Diet Coke. Yep. And I'm going to install the flux capacitor. Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding. It's not a flux capacitor. <laughs> this yeah. is the uh, tool in which we attach to the bottle mm -hmm. so that we can make the, uh, hold on. Sometimes it's a little tricky screwing it on, but oh yeah, there we go. There we go. We got that sucker on there now, don't we? Yeah, we. Right, Nathaniel? Yep. Now we want the ball valve here dun, to be dun, dun, in the dun, shut dun. position, okay? Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. And now we want to go ahead and attach the dispenser yep. to the unit. And go ahead and set us out a cup there, Nathaniel. Okay, I know how to do it. And our it. upper ball valve Three. is open. Three. Okay, keep going. Okay. Four, yeah, looking good. Five, looking good. Six. Let me center these babies up a little bit. Now, our first little comparison here with this Diet Coke, I think we should put in maybe, let's try putting four. Yeah. And we're going to see how much it will fill the cups up. We'll try four Mentos to start with. So open this up. Here, okay. I'll open it up for us. And we're going to take four Mentos. Okay, I'll do Go ahead it. and put them in, Nathaniel. Okay, I'll do it. That's one. Here's another one. Put it in there. Hey. Go ahead and put them in there, Nathaniel. I'll hand them to you. Okay. That's two. That's three. And that's four. So we're going to. How you do it? All right, hang on. We got to shut this valve at the top, okay? Yeah. Did they all fall down in there? I think they did. So let's shut this valve. Here we go. Nathaniel, go around to the front. And you crack the valve, buddy. You gotta turn this valve, okay? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on now. Uh, people other can't way. see. I'll other tell you way. what. Come back around here. Uh, other way or other way? Come back around here. I figured out to do this. All right. See so if you can reach through there, and you're gonna turn it that way. Keep. All right. Go ahead. You gotta turn it fast. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. Turn it fast, buddy. Too tough. Maybe you need a little bit of help. Let Daddy help you, okay? So here we go. Ready? We'll drop them. And they fall in there. Whoa! And look at that. Woo! We filled it up, friends. Yep. We definitely filled up all the glasses with just four Mentos. Okay? Yeah. All right. Stay tuned for more comparisons. Okay, friends. We've, we've, we've let the foam settle down. What have we noticed here, Nathaniel? It fell off. Right? Are they equally filled up? Yep. Nope, I don't think nope. they are. If you look at them closely, it looks like the ones out toward the very end didn't get quite as much yep. diet soda as the ones in the middle. Yeah. What do you think the reason for that is? Um, first, first it fell off, first it goes up and it goes down, mm -hmm. both of them. Yep. And see, you can see it. I don't think I would drink that. <laughs> yeah. I think what it is, the ones that are further out on the end, maybe they have to travel further, so that's why it didn't fill up quite as much. So that's one thing that we just noticed from the dispenser. It doesn't exactly fill all the cups equally, but it is pretty close. So let's try another comparison. Okay, folks, hey, we're going to do one more comparison here. Since the putting four Mentos in actually overfilled our cups, especially the ones closest to the bottle, we're just going to try two this time. What do you think about that, Nathaniel? Because we want to do something that hopefully we'll get to demonstrate this at your school. And we don't want to be making a big old mess on the table at school. So let's try this. This is one of yeah, our comparisons. Yeah, try not to do that. We're just going to put two in here this time. Let's go and shut the ball valve. Shut the ball down. And let's see if it'll actually uh, do, what? do what we want it to do without actually spilling the whole thing. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Two Mentos in the chamber of the flux capacitor. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Bam. Get Let's ready. Oh my, here comes the night so here we go. This is looking pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh. It did not come out of the cups. This might be a good demonstrator at your that's, school. Yeah, oh, that suck. Yep, but actually you can see folks that uh, there is some, uh, 
there is a difference between you know the ones that are closest that to the center on, versus the ones out toward the edge. That was that was uncommon. That and was, I think that we can probably say that the reason for that is the distance between mm -hmm. here and the main bottle is further, and that's the reason that we're not getting as okay. much cola in those cups. What do you think about that, Nathaniel? Okay. Is that good enough reason for that? So this is on I think so. So that, let's go on to another comparison. That, okay, friends, now we're gonna do another little experiment here. We're gonna put a whole pack of Mentos in here. Oh yeah. And we're just gonna have the three quarter inch uh, pipe here Let's see, you want to put some in? Here, yeah. put some in for put, me. Put, put a couple of them. Put them in there, buddy. Let's put a whole roll in there. Put a couple of them. one time. All right, let's get them loaded up in here. Oh, it's, then, that's going to be super blast. Yep, we're going to see how far it will blast oh with my. just a piece of three quarter inch diameter pipe hey, give me coming three. out give of the top. Three. Okay, there you go. Give me two of them. There you go, there's one. And there is the last one. Wow, that is really stacked up there. That's gonna be super! <laughs> I don't know how, we might have too many. I don't know, Nathaniel. We'll see if they fall through. I hope they do. I hope. I wonder if we should put the other attachment onto the ball valve. Okay, no, uh, never mind. Let's try it this way. All right, now, let's go ahead. Come over what? here and hold this for me. You gotta what? hold that nice and steady, Nathaniel, to the ground. Put your hand right here and right here and hold it. And what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna Flip the valve, let them drop, tilt it at a 45 degree angle, and see how far it shoots that way. And we're gonna take a measurement, okay? Ow. So here we go, Nathaniel. Are you ready for this? Uh, this could get messy. It could be, okay, okay. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, Don't let it hit you in the head. Squat down a little bit. So here we go. Okay. Ah! Okay, 45 degree no, angle. No, no, no. With just three quarters of an inch. Let's take our crayon and go down there and mark it right quick. Yay! Okay. So we got to about right yes! here. Yes! Yes! All right. Now, friends, we're going to try a different, different fitting on top of here. Okay, folks. We've got another Diet Coke here set up. We've got another whole roll of Mentos in here. And what we're going to do is put this little attachment on top because this is a restriction. This is only half inch diameter. This should theoretically, Nathaniel, make it shoot further than the first bottle okay so let's yeah. see what happens we're just going to slide that on there okay and then uh we're gonna we're gonna go and open this valve and let this go we're gonna film this in slow mo for you folks so here we go okay friends here we go i think the slow mo function is not going to work but here we go we'll check it out anyway and then we'll take some measurements so here we go oh we had a failure here Yep, we had a failure here. Technical difficulty. Uh, we, got, we got to do one more, folks. Oh, uh, what is this? Okay, friends, we had a little failure there last time, and I got to thinking it could have been because we had so many Mentos, they might not have all been able to fall into the bottle before it started spewing up, and they could have been blocking up our tube here and keeping it. That might what made it blow out the side here because this is not a real great connection here on top of the bottle. So this time, we're going with about a half a pack of Mentos, and we're gonna see if we can just shoot it further than with the, uh, the than the first one that we did with the three quarter inch open. Okay, Nathaniel, are you ready? Yeah, Dad. All right, you got the square. I'm gonna drop them, and we're gonna see how far they go this time. So one, two, three. Hi, 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 hi. Oh yeah, yeah. that definitely did it. Oh, check that out, friends. That went about twice the distance. Let's go down and mark it right quick. some measurements and we'll let you know okay friends the first uh launch that we did with the three quarter inch opening it was 15 feet six inches okay hold it down there okay so 25 plus eight that is 33 33 feet it went the second time friends and neighbors with the restriction in it and a few less mentos so there you go. We hope you enjoyed our little video. Say bye to everybody, Nathaniel. Bye! Is this a fun project? Yeah! Tell the good people how fun it was. Awesome! All right, we'll see you next time.